So, right, so what's your first name? Shirley. Shirley, and tell us what's wrong, Shirley. Um, I was just diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2006. <laughs> right, okay. <clears throat> so, and then it's gradually getting worse, and I'm on the list now for brain surgery. Right. But I can't, it's called dyskinesia, I can't yeah. keep still, uh, I read a lot when I get anxious, agitated. Yeah. yeah. So, stress is a big factor. All right, and so we've got you in front of the camera now, we've got you in front of the live audience, <laughs> so okay. it's going to be worse. So if we no can fix you when it all settles down. Then you might, I'll follow you to end the earth. It's amazing. So much, I'll yeah. yeah. when they were diagnosed. Yeah. And I'm at that stage now where I feel people looking at me, I am walking past me, uh, I'm very touchy. Yeah. So, you know, because you need people tutting. Yeah. Because I can when I know I'm keeping people waiting, yeah. it makes me more and more nervous, which takes yeah. longer and longer. Yeah. And I've been having panic attacks as well, and that's Yeah. So let's see if we can't fix you then. <laughs> Yeah, cool. I do have the best job in the world. I do work long hours, but I'm left how can you not, eh, <laughs> when you can help people? <laughs> Alright, God bless. So, yeah, you're going to have two people work on you. It's going to be the, it's going to be the dynamic duo that will happen now. Uh, Dr. Oswaldo Cruz and uh, Dr. Augusto de Almeida. So, Dr. Augusto de Almeida, it's like the month of August with an O on the end, Dr. Augusto. <coughs> Dr. means of Almeida is a place in Portugal, that's where he's from originally. And Dr. Oswaldo Cruz, he usually specialises in any form of paraplegia. So if you're working on somebody in a wheelchair that needs to get out of a wheelchair, uh, then it will be Dr. Oswaldo Cruz. All right, God bless. Now, at the moment, I'm just going to I give a running commentary <coughs> on what I'm doing, partly for your evidence, but partly years ahead I'm, I'm convinced that there will be students that study my videos to understand what I'm doing and at that point I want to explain that it was like I was conducting an orchestra, there was a very high fine frequency energy, um, <coughs> exquisite, exquisite. So I work with a group of beings um, who are aligned with the will of God. So here on a physical level it's very easy for us to have our own personal agenda. You know I want a roof over my head, I want a nice job, I want a nice car, I want a happy family. Uh, but having spent a number of years on the earth or having spent a few hundred years in spirit world very often people are looking for something else they're looking for something that transcends this physical life uh, they're looking to be of service so my, my life is a life of service and I started when I first started seeing spirit I dedicated if you like my life to serving spirit and then about 12 years ago I got my wrist slapped a little bit and they said if somebody knocked on your door in the dead of night and said, come with us, come with us, we've got an emergency, would you go with them? And I said, no, because I've got kids, six and eight. I wouldn't. I, if my partner was there to look after the kids, and if I knew the people and I knew it was like bona fide, then probably I would. But no, if somebody just knocked on the door, I'd just say, no, go away. And they said, but that's what you've been doing for spirit world. So when I started seeing spirit, I worked as a medium and I did what? what the information in here was guiding me to do. I wrote four books, I got a best-selling TV series, uh, a, a primetime TV series. But 12 years ago, they said, you have no discernment, you need to only work with the spirits that are aligned with the will of God. And as they said that, I knew they were right. Because here on a physical <coughs> level, there are people that have dedicated their life to God, or in service of humanity, or in service of the earth, you're working for something bigger than just this human form. And if our politicians did that, we'd have a different own country. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, America. When Americans have got a Senate, haven't they, the senators, we've got Parliament with MPs. They based that Senate on what the Iroquois nation used to do, except they changed it slightly. So the Iroquois nation used to have, the, the, like, the government and then they'd have a higher government, which was of grandmothers. And the lower government, the lower house, couldn't agree anything without the grandmothers agreeing. Mm. Now imagine if in this country you had a, a house, instead of the House of Lords, which is all about them looking after their own wealth, isn't it, let's face it, yeah. 
you had a nation of grandmothers. Mm -hmm. Won't we make some, we pass some different laws, won't we? <laughs> yeah. Now, my arm now <coughs> is aching. <coughs> People see the work I do and, and, you know, it doesn't that hurt. How can you keep doing it? I just have experienced through that arm, you know, almost excruciating pain. And it's like I'm only holding an elephant, I'm not held it up for long. So they're taking something away from you. How are you feeling at the moment? A bit settled? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at my ankle because it was swollen when I sat down. It's not swollen now? All right. So this is the arm that's doing most of the healing. And what they're doing is now, it, all that pain went away and now it's all coming back again. So they're taking things off, offering ways, and they're only taking it through my arm, from my elbow to my fingertips. That's what they're doing. All right. Can you imagine what it's like to be me? Seriously, I've been doing this for 25 years, and it's like, I, I love what I'm doing, but I also feel like I'm hitting my head on a brick wall. Why, why are universities not studying that? How's that feeling? Taking the leg up here. Yeah, they're taking it up there, eh? Right? Good job. You're in trousers tonight as well. No, it's been for a shot, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got to rock and roll on Friday. Yeah. <coughs> it's got to rock and roll, is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes, sir, we have. Cool. So, my life's interesting, eh? But I tell you what's been really interesting, I've been out of the UK for 20 years and so I've come back and I've seen the changes here. You've gone through massive changes here, guys. Massive, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that Europe thing was a mistake, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to say some of them around now. <laughs> <laughs> So for a few minutes nothing was happening, but it's like everything's finished and now they're working just with my body like this. <laughs> so they've just said to me cerebral cortex. Now I think the cerebral cortex is right at the back of it's underneath that occipital ridge, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what it is actually. Um, but they just said to me, cerebral cortex. all the gestures, all the sounds that you see me do, it's not me. I wouldn't, I've done this long enough to understand that uh, I don't need to do anything. I've just got to show up, I've just got to have a sincere desire to help people be well, and I leave everything <coughs> to them. Relaxed and cool. Relaxed, and it's gone really yeah. cool. And, and that was the leg that was really spasming a lot, wasn't it? So that's that's being sorted. And now it looks like they're doing the other one for you as well. So it's going to be really interesting to get some feedback from you, you know, oh, by yeah. a month from now, tell us what's happened. Because at some stage, oh, somebody's got to ask, how does this work? And it's the simplest thing in the world, guys. It's love. It's love. Little pair of scissors, he's just done something I would say to the spinal cord. From working with the spinal cord. 
separate doctors, my understanding is that a lot of the parking <coughs> is caused by too much aluminium. Um, years ago, we recognised the need not to cook in aluminium saucepans, you remember that? Mm -hmm. But we're still using aluminium foil. Mm -hmm. Think about it. <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> when, when it's ready to do what it is, this is a bit like what my life is like because that's exactly what happens. They yeah. they work my body. It's not me moving it. So you're not lifting your leg up at the no. moment, are you? No. <laughs> of course, too big. Uh, and you're not an actress that I paid to come on and <laughs> pretend. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we did a show in where were we recently? Uh, was it Worcester? And there was a lady there that. It was amazing healing. At the end of the day, I said, now, you're not an actress, are you? She said, well, yeah, actually, I am. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have something wrong with me. You stiff, Mr. Stone. Yeah. Nick, right? Okay. Rock on, that will be easy. I like <laughs> oh. See, how many people are going to look at you and say, what happened? And you'll be able to tell them. Yeah. I'm not keeping it to myself. No, don't. Tell people while she's very popular around town. Oh, people yeah. will notice. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. standing you up okay so I'm just letting them know we're gonna try standing up to whoever's got a leg please let her put it down <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jake okay. yeah. there we go there we go all right so can you walk around and see how you feel oh if you saw me when I come in you're like a Kelly word yeah work it <laughs> ah there we go <laughs> 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 That's the thing, oh, guys, you can't.